Now, there is just one other type of hypertension. That is whatever the cause of hypertension. And whoever may suffer from it, you can cut off, separate, put aside, whatever you like to call it, a group of people or patients in which the hypertension is extremely bad. We have a name for that. We call it malignant hypertension. So someone with essential hypertension may have malignant hypertension. Someone with a fetal chromocytoma may have malignant hypertension. Some patients with chronic diffuse renal disease may have malignant hypertension. Any patient with Cushion syndrome may go on to develop malignant hypertension. Whoever develops it, and for whatever reason they develop it, this is an extremely serious state of affairs. Because in malignant hypertension, there is not just an increase in the spasm of these blood vessels, but they actually become injured and damaged and occluded. And the end result is widespread tissue damage due to ischemia. And patients with malignant hypertension, if left untreated, die of renal failure because of kidney disease, because all the arterioles in the glomeruli are damaged and injured and occluded. Now there's a sign for malignant hypertension that is extremely important. Obviously the blood pressure would be high and indeed the blood pressure is high and diastolic blood pressures of 120 and more and systolic blood pressures of 210 and more are compatible and consistent with malignant hypertension. But that is not what defines it to be malignant. What defines it to be malignant is that if you were to look with an ophthalmoscope in the back of the eye, you will notice that there is swelling of the optic nerve disc, a condition we call papillodema. A swelling of the optic nerve head, if you like. The second cranial nerve, because the pressure inside the brain is increased. There is a raised intracranial pressure. And as well as papillodema, you often see exudates and hemorrhages in the background of the eye because of the damage to small blood vessels I've already talked to you about. So you diagnose malignant hypertension, not so much with a sphygmomanometer, but with an ophthalmoscope. 